Seriously, who is more pro-China, Joe Biden or Justin Trudeau? You'd think it would be impossible for anyone to top this, Trudeau's super gross statement that China was the country he most admired, specifically because of its dictatorship. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime. I mean, come on, how can anyone ever beat that? That's the GOAT, as the kids would say, the greatest of all time. Well, look at this from Biden's TV town hall last night. You know, Chinese leaders, if you know anything about Chinese history, it has always been the time when China has been victimized by the outer world is when they haven't been unified at home. So the central, oh, to vastly overstated, the central principle of Xi Jinping is that there must be a united, tightly controlled China. And he uses his rationale for the things he does based on that. I point out to him, no American president can be sustained as a president if he doesn't reflect the values of the United States. And so the idea, I'm not going to speak out against what he's doing in Hong Kong, what he's doing with the Uyghurs in western mountains of, of uh, China, and Taiwan trying to end the one China policy by making it forceful. I, I said, and by the way, he said he, he gets it. He really said that? Oh my God, I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry I laughed. He said China is the victim. Presumably that means America is the oppressor. He said China needs to tightly control its people. He said he's not going to speak out for Hong Kong or the Uyghurs. Hong Kong, which has been semi-autonomous as part of their agreement with the UK for the return of that city. He doesn't care. And he lumps in Taiwan, a separate, independent, sovereign country. Biden just lumped Taiwan in as if it's some province of China and they can do with it what they like. And then he loses his train of thought for a minute and then just reaches for one of his catch-all phrases. He, when he forgets something, he gets it. What? What? But his key message is totalitarianism is a cultural norm in China and the leaders there have to be bullies and tyrants because their people want it and expect it? I really think he, he meant what he said. Uh, if there was any doubt about it, well, too bad. CNN didn't feel like asking him any follow-up questions on that astounding statement. Uh, here's a reply from a Uyghur leader in exile. That's the people in the western province of Xinjiang. President of the United States should know that nothing can be a justification for genocide Hitler attempted to create a greater German Reich through aggression, invasion of neighboring countries, and the Holocaust of millions of Jews and others. She, that's the president of China, is doing the same thing today and must be stopped. That's pretty tough stuff, but it's true. I think there are reasons to call what's going on in China a genocide against the Uyghur people in the western province of Xinjiang, against Tibet, really. Uh, they have concentration camps in Xinjiang. They have labor camps, forced labor camps. I don't think they have death camps like Hitler did, so that's a distinction. But on the other hand, there are credible reports of mass rapes and torture at the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. And overlay on top, the Chinese Communist Party's approach to ethnic cleansing. Uh, they relocate millions of ethnic Han Chinese people into Tibet and into Xinjiang to dilute the local indigenous character of these different ethnicities. China is made up of many different regions and peoples, really. They're not all Chinese in the ethnic sense. It is the explicit policy of the Communist Party of China to replace local identities, especially religious identities and ethnic identities, with an obedience to the Chinese Communist Party, which also happens to be dominated by the Han ethnicity. I've seen a verified translation of this next video. In Xinjiang province, children are separated from their natural families and reprogrammed to worship the state as their family. Here's a tweet. In this Xinjiang camp, Uyghur children are forcefully separated from their parents in order to chant, my mother is China, we love our mother, we love China. So yeah. So maybe Biden beats Trudeau in the communist Olympics after all. 
That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.